Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm bringing you along on an ideal day for me. Um, typically I do start every morning making the bed as you can see here. I love starting off the day making the bed. It just makes me feel organized and I will also be doing a morning workout. I usually do an evening workout so it was nice that this morning I was able to wake up and do an early morning class. I do Camp Gladiator. Um, they do virtual classes online. So you will see here in this next clip, me and my husband are doing a nice workout. I love these. Um, they just get my body moving. I end up sweating so much after these workouts. Um, it's full body. You kind of do a little bit of everything, but you're constantly moving. And I'm working on my fitness. I have lost some weight since this video. Um, I can see in this video my face looked a little bit fuller and yeah so just trying to take care of myself staying active is what's most important so here we are my husband again was able to join me so it was a nice start to the morning hey guys so we're currently in my bathroom and you guys just saw me do a very intense camp gladiator workout I've been doing it for almost six weeks now and I signed up to do like their virtual classes and I showed you guys what that looked like. So my husband joined me this morning, which was nice. And to be honest, not every day I work out in the mornings. I wish that I did, but luckily I work out after work. Just wanted to bring you guys along today because we do have some exciting things going on. I'm currently still really red for my workout. I get really red after I work out and then I showered so and I take hot showers so typically I'm just a crab after my shower as well. Today I'm getting my lashes refilled so I'm not doing a lot of makeup just kind of give myself some brows because as you guys can see I don't have any brows but I wanted to show you guys kind of like my little skincare routine in the morning that I love to do every day. Do not go a day without putting some skincare on my face and I'll show you guys later tonight what my skincare routine is at night but in the morning I usually just start off with this uh, image skincare vital C hydrating anti-aging serum it's a serum and it's so nice and lightweight but still moisturizing and it smells like oranges so that smell just wakes me up every morning and I'm looking up here because that's where the little screen is so I apologize <laughs> I'm not looking right at you guys, I'm looking like up to make sure I'm still in focus and I just look so red. I do not look this red in person. And my mirrors right here, so I'm kind of like making sure. Today I kind of woke up swollen, like my face sometimes is more swollen some days. Today is just one of those days where I look kind of swollen. Next product that I use is Olay Regenerist. I love Olay, you guys will see what I use from them at night but this is the micro sculpting cream and it's just super moisturizing um, it's fragrance free I don't really have allergies to fragrance but if I can stay away from it it's better for my skin because I do have psoriasis and fragrances tend to just kind of flare it up or irritate it and then when you do your neck you always want to bring your your um, products upward so that really is it for my skincare in the morning, um, just the serum and the moisturizer. So I'm just gonna put a little bit, like I said, on my brows. And I wanted to show you guys what I'm currently doing. I saw this on a girl's Instagram who has her brows laminated. She has amazing brows, like I don't have eyebrows. <laughs> and so um, it's this got to be spiking glue. And I got little two sample sizes on Amazon for like, I think, six bucks. So you just kind of put some on your brow hair. Not too much. I just like, do like a pea size for both brows. And then I take a spoolie and I brush my eyebrows up. And literally, they stay up and they do not move all day. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. We're up and look scary. I just go into foundation and I use the ColourPop Pretty Fresh foundation. It has hyaluronic acid in it. And I'm just going to put a little bit. Okay, so now my foundation is done and I'm going to go in with brows. 
and I just kind of use my spoolie. At this point, they're really hard. <laughs> and I just go in with my e.l.f. Lip Instant Lift Brow Pencil. And I fill them in, just following the hairs upwards. So that's all I really do. So you guys can see, I just kind of go upwards. And then blend it out so that it doesn't look too harsh. Okay, so this is the brows done. They're not the best, but they'll do. To contour my face, I use a um, no filter foundation stick from ColourPop as well. And I just kind of do a light contour, nothing crazy. Here, and here, and then a little on the forehead, and that's it. And I use my Real Techniques buffing brush. Love this thing. I've used it for years. So now I'm taking just a Morphe blush brush and I'm dipping in just some powder that I have from Pure Cosmetic. And then that's really all that I do. Um, I'll comb out my lashes. Like I said, right now they're looking really rough. Put on some lip balm and I'm out the door. I haven't really been putting on highlight lately. I just think for every day it's a little too much. Anyway, that's really it. I'm also not doing my hair today because I'm getting it done. Um, again, not typical. I get my hair done like maybe two, three times a year. The last time I went was like mm, three months ago and she gave me some partial highlights. So I'm getting some more done today. I did go about a month ago to get layers and stuff. I got kind of like these curtain bang. And that is it, guys. I'm hungry now. So I'm going to have some breakfast. So show you guys what I decide to make for breakfast. We'll see what we got. So something else that happened this morning at 9, a gentleman came out to give us an estimate on painting the exterior of our home and that's very exciting because I'll show you guys what our house looks like now and what we would like it to look like. Also some inspiration pictures that I found online. So excited because it's going to look so different. Like I love our house already. I don't care for brick. But the brick color that we have is like a yellow color, so it's not ugly. It's cute, but I just have always envisioned it being white with like black accents. So that's exciting. Oh my gosh, my pancake is burning. Oh no, it's good. It didn't burn. We're okay. So I'm going to just keep making these pancakes and I'll eat and then I'll have to head out soon for my lash appointment so you guys can see this is what they look like now they don't look very good at all right now they need help for sure so you guys will see what they look like after hey guys can you see me I'm currently at a Target parking lot and it's been a minute um, since we've last checked in, I'm so sweaty. I finally got my lashes filled. Oh my gosh. Vlogging is hard. I don't know how people do it. Anyway, these are how my lashes turned out. I love them. They look so good. 
I love my girl Vanessa. She does a great job. I have a video on here on my first time getting them done with her. And she's just so sweet and so professional. I love her. So I definitely recommend if you guys are looking for lash extensions to go with my girl Vanessa and all her information and everything. Um, I'll leave it down below so you guys can hit her up. I'm about to have a quick lunch because it's about 1.10 right now. My hair appointment is at 2. Some sushi here at Target. I had to return some jeans so might as well. I uh, picked up some sushi from them and then I've also always been curious about this bubbly sparkling water. I'll see if I like that that I'm going to eat and before my appointment I'll check in with you guys so you guys can see or after I'm sorry after my hair appointment I'll check in with you guys so that way you can see the finished results. I wanted to show you guys how cute this location is. It's like a house that they turned into a hair salon. It's in Midlothian. It's called House on Fifth. And I love Danielle. She does my hair and she's super, super sweet. We wear masks, obviously, and keep it very safe. And yeah, I always have such a good experience with her. So I'm so excited. I will be showing you guys what it looks like afterwards. Hey guys, so I just got home. It's about 5.30 in the afternoon now. And I wanted to show you guys what my hair and my lashes look like in better lighting. Um, we're back at my house now and this is what the hair looks like i love it i got more highlights put in um some lighter pieces here in this bang area so i really really like how it came out and yeah my lashes are a little bit fuller than the last time that i got them i did a little more natural wispier look and these are like the wispy hybrids which are just a little fuller so i love that um so what are we doing for the rest of today it's friday evening um typically me and my husband like to go out to eat we either we usually order in um i'm feeling birria tacos i've been following this account on instagram called taco.vida i've not gone yet i've just seen posts and it looks so good and i want so i've been craving those for weeks now and when i get a craving i need I need to have it. We'll see where we go to eat. I'll show you guys later on. I'm gonna just kind of pick up around the house. It's a little messy. So yeah, I will check in with you guys once we grab some dinner, see what we do, and then how I wrap up my night, my skincare routine. So see you guys in a second. <laughs> that was weird. We ended up going just down the street from us in downtown Arlington to this really good food truck called 225 they have the most amazing birria quesadillas which my husband got and i got the birria tacos so cheesy so delicious so bad for you but it's okay to treat yourself every now and then definitely recommend this place though oh my goodness gracious it was so good i devoured it that quesadilla that i was eating is huge Mm -hmm. huge like he's not gonna finish it maybe he will i don't know 10 10 recommend really good hey guys so we're back in the restroom ending the day here and i am ready for bed i'm so sleepy today was a long day but it was a good day um, i was productive and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed following along with me today I did already wash my face. I am obsessed with the Hydro Boost line from Neutrogena. I use the hydrating cleansing gel and um, a couple times a week I also go in with their exfoliating cleanser. So these two together are great. I have dry skin so their Hydro Boost line has like hyaluronic acid in there so it just kind of helps with dryness. And the same with in the morning I do use the Vital C Serum at night as well the only difference is that i use the retinol 24 by olay and it's still the regenerous line and again it's fragrance free so i really enjoy it uh, retinol is something very important to use in your skincare i know that it just kind of helps with fine lines and the prevention of getting new ones so and then i do always always put on a lip balm at night i swear by this vaseline rosy lip and for the longest time now 
in an effort to grow my brows one day. They just never grew back after the plucking of the early 2000s. They just never really did grow back. So I use castor oil every night. So I'll put it all over a nice amount. And it's in a little like um, squeezy tube. So I just put like a dot of this. It's very, very thick. Um, so you, you really do not need a lot. And then in here, I have my little spoolie that I use specifically just for my eyebrows to put on this oil every night. And I brush them up. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed kind of following me along today and seeing what my ideal day looks like. Not every Friday is like this. Friday just happened to be a nice, productive, busy Friday. That is really it, you guys. My life is not that exciting. But I just like watching these types of vlogs and seeing what people get up to on their day. So, yeah. I will see you guys soon in another video. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like this video, and comment down below what your typical day is like. I would like to know. Um, or what's your ideal day like? That would be a nicer um, comment because typical day is realistically us working going home, eating, watching TV, which I get that too, but what is an ideal day in your life? You know, what does that look like for you? But yeah, thanks so much for being here guys, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!